retreat center where guests come here primarily to rest and relax. Everything is uh, just so lush and green in this area. They grow all their fruits and vegetables right here on the land. There, which they have like a big farm over there. So they have come to this temple for worship, the women. On certain occasions they come here after the wedding, after childbirth, purification ceremony takes place and then they come here to pour water on the statues etc. But you can see this is a women's affair. So they're there with the jewelry. Rajasthan, Jaipur, and we are actually uh, here at a step well. I don't know if you can see just how deep this is, but this place where um, they would extract the water um, in uh, ancient times, and even to this very day, there's still water that fills these areas. And as you can see, people going down into the well area um, you see the hose that's and this water would be uh, enough for the villages in this area to have enough water, clean water to drink and to survive so you can also see many artifacts that are still being classified in this area. They're all numbered. A lot of them have fallen from the walls. So now they are trying their best to preserve all this architecture. So it's a uh, protected site. So that this way people do not steal any of these uh, rare artifacts. Here and we are having lunch here in uh, the Steppe Village, the local restaurant here, and we're all coming off of our Gate One travel bus, and we're coming in to this very local restaurant with a lot of local influences. So, yeah, a Navajo tribal meeting. It sounds like a Navajo tribal meeting, right? It's pretty good. Okay. So, celebration of life.
here today um, and this is owned by a local villager who basically um, turned this uh, compound into tiny tent homes where people from all over the world come and they live in these tents huh? and uh, they're able to come and visit and stay in these tents and they're all around this compound and it's pretty amazing pretty awesome take care guys stay hungry Shadja here we're at the Trident Hotel it's our uh, our first day in Agra and we're here with our friends here uh, let me just show you exactly what's on the menu. Oh yes, right over here. So let me just show you what's for dinner here. So we have the lamb from brush, the chicken chetana, uh, fish, black bean sauce, potatoes, vegetable, and soy ginger. Uh, we have bindi joli, and avocado over here, paneer, dal, Mixed dal, uh, rice pulao, steamed rice, vegetable lemon, and shorba. This is kind of like a soup made with what inside? Made from what? Chicken? Chicken. All right, very good. All right, thank you. Uh, so, and it's a variety of uh, different foods that you can uh, pick here when you come to the Trident Hotels. So it's a smorgasbord of, of foods and just absolutely amazing, amazing stuff. And of course, let's not forget desserts here. We have the chefs here and they're here and uh, they are getting together the dessert menu over here. A lot of desserts there on um, um, board. It's just absolutely amazing to try it. All right, guys, take care. Talk to you later. And we're sitting here with our friends. Okay, and we're just chilling out here.